Hey miners, this is Chris with All About Mining. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get yourself set up with an Exodus wallet for cryptocurrencies. Go ahead and go to exodus.com. Here's their homepage. You can go ahead and review um, all the information about it, but go ahead and hit download. You're going to have to decide whether you are wanting to download this on your mobile device or whether you're wanting to download it on your desktop. We're going to do desktop. I'm going to download it with the Windows app. All right, Exodus has been installed. You can run it by clicking the shortcut on the desktop app or in the app menu. So it's all installed on your computer. So then what you can do is go onto your desktop, find the icon on your desktop, or you can search in your search bar for Exodus. What I like to do is I like to pin it to my taskbar so I never have to get out of whatever apps I'm in and I can just go right down there and open it up. All right, welcome to Exodus. So this is a brand new wallet when you first download it. And so there's a couple different things you're gonna want to do. First thing you're gonna wanna do is come over to the settings tab. Up here you have a couple tabs and up here you wanna click on backup. So very first thing you want to do, create a password. This is what you are going to use every time you log in to Exodus. Okay, so I'm going to create a password. Next, it wants you to confirm that password, so type it in again. All right, now this is a very important piece. Write down your 12 word phrase. This 12 word phrase is a recovery phrase that allows you to recover your wallet in case you ever lose access to it. Write down the words in the correct order from one to 12 and store them in somewhere safe. Anyone with your recovery phase can spend your funds. Do not show it to anyone. So the safest thing for you to do is write down your recovery phase and then put it in a safe somewhere or in a safe place and I would have multiple copies of them so you don't lose it. So what you're going to do is you're going to mouse over each one of your numbers and it's going to give you a word. Write down every one of those words in order because that's how you're going to recover your account. You can print your phrase if you want to do that or you can write them down and then the very next step is going to be verifying that you have that phrase. Now it's going to say this is the last step. Which word from the list below belongs to your paper backup? Alright, I know which one belongs to mine. So I click finish and we are all set. So now when you come to backup, you have the option to reset your password or to look at that recovery phrase again. You cannot choose your words, it chooses them for you. Those are your recovery phrase. Back on the home screen, you are all set up. So now you have your wallet, you have your portfolio, and you are able to receive and send different cryptos to this wallet. So if I click on wallet, this is going to tell me how much Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, Tether, all these different ones. You can pick from many different ones. Um, if I wanted to look at Doge, I could select Dogecoin. And obviously I have zero in here currently. If you wanted that to be at the top, and never have to search for it, just click the little star to mark that as one of your favorites and that'll always be listed at the top. 
once you have coins in your account, those accounts with coins will show up right away. Here is where you have a send and receive button. I'm going to click on receive for Doge. It's going to give me my Dogecoin receivable address. Think of this as a deposit slip into your bank account. So anybody can have this and all they can do is send Dogecoin to your account, but they cannot take Dogecoin out. I'm going to go back. If you were to click on send, it would show you another address. Obviously, I'm not going to show that to the world. So if I have Dogecoin in here, I don't want somebody else to get in here and uh, withdraw my Dogecoin. But that is how you're going to send Dogecoin as well. Once you have your portfolio all set up, you can click on this and it'll show you uh, how much of each crypto you have in here. You can track the balance on how it's gone from the 24 hour change um, the highest balance you've had, the best 24 asset, um, the worst 24 hour asset that you've had. And you can just go through and look at all the different things in here. There's a lot to do in this Exodus account. You can actually create multiple portfolios for yourself um, in Exodus. So I really enjoy this account. I hope this helped you get things set up uh, so you can start mining or move over if you wanted to do that. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, please do help me out by giving me a thumbs up, a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, um, and share this with your friends, and let's keep on mining.